Hello everyone, welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're gonna to be making a cube steak and gravy, an easy no sear crock pot. That sounds like something you're interested in and you're not a part of my channel, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to click the bell and then click the word all. That way you get everything I upload. I upload cooking videos, grocery hauls, farming videos, all sorts of things. So you don't wanna miss them. So I, there's nothing I would love more than for you to be a part of my sweet Farming Pastor's Wife family. So with that being said, we're fixing to make easy, no sear, crock pot, cube steak and gravy. <laughs> Okay, so you can sear this if you want to. And let me just tell you what you do is you take your cube steak, dab it in flour, sear it, and then put it in the crock pot and with everything else I'm gonna tell you to do. But not everybody has the luxury. You have working moms, you have, um, and you know, some people think I stay at home and I do stay at home, but I'm a farmer. I'm a bubbles. We have projects going here all the time, as well as being a pastor's wife. So I don't always have the luxury to fry and cook everything right here on the stove top. So the crock pot comes in so handy. It is not less than cooking. It is a convenient, smart way of cooking. So don't let anybody tell you that's not really cooking because that's a lie. So <laughs> just saying. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, I've been peeling onions and my eyes are like, ugh. But we're gonna get our gravy ready first. Now yes, you're using a lot of cream of mushroom soup, so if you have your recipe for your own, you can make your own. And I know you guys have asked me to share that, and I will do that eventually. Look, I've got a sweet little boy coming in here. Can you say hello? Hello. Hello. He hasn't been feeling the best, so he's been staying at Bubbles' house, hadn't you, buddy? You been staying at Bubbles' house? Okay, so I am doubling this recipe. Don't stand on the handles, baby. I'm doubling this recipe because I have Caroline will be here tonight. Um, Jamie will be here tonight. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I got a monkey. I got a monkey behind me. Okay. So, we're going to put cream of mushroom. I'm Like I said, I'm doubling this recipe because I've got several people coming. But in the description, I'll give you the normal ingredients. Now listen, I don't always get the recipe added first thing. Because you never know how I'm uploading. If I'm uploading... Uh, oh, no. Did you see that? <laughs> i got to get Brian. Um... I never know how I'm uploading, so just be patient. The recipe will be added eventually. Now, my older videos don't have recipes on them, but the newer ones do, and it'll be added. If it's not added immediately, it will be added eventually. So, I, I always try to put in the description, recipe will be added later. Hey, Brian, can you open this can for me? The tab broke off. Okay, so I'm going in with two cans of cream of mushroom, two cans of cream of celery, which again, remember, I'm doubling the recipe. The other can opener may work, the normal one. I've got a helper on both sides. Brian is opening the can for me, and I got a little boy peeping. Do y'all see him peeping? <laughs> He's my helper. He's my helper. Okay. Thank you, Daddy. He ran out of here. I don't know what's happening. Something must be happening. Okay. So here is all four cans. Now, you can do this several ways. You can add the soups. And you're also going to add Lipton onion soup mix. I'm just going to mix that in with this and let it all be in the gravy. But I'm going to also get a can of water. You want to pour this in for me, bud? Can you reach? 
Hang on, let me slide you over. All right, now, can you reach? Good job, thank you so much. All right. And I'll go back and clean those cans out later. I know y'all worry about that. <laughs> All right, let me show you where to tear. Um, yeah, I said I'd show you. All right, tear the, you, I'll open them and you pour them in. How's that? Okay, can you pour that in here? We're going in with our Lipton. This is off brand, but it's onion soup mix. Whoa! <laughs> We spilt a little, didn't we? Here, I'll open it. I'll open it and you pour it, okay? I'll open it and you pour it. It's fun having a helper in the kitchen. All right, can you pour that in there? Don't ask so good. Good job, buddy. Uh-oh, did you get gravy on you? All right, now we're going to stir this up. You can just sprinkle the top with the Lipton onion soup mix, but I'm saying let's just mix it in. That way we don't have any parts that's not going anywhere. Okay, guys. There is our gravy mix. So, let's set that aside. I'm going to grab my crock pot insert, and I am using a crock pot liner today. I want easy cooking tonight, an easy cleanup. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I've got sliced onions. Just gonna fill the bottom with sliced onions. And he's putting the onion soup mix in there that he dropped. That's totally fine. All right. So I'm starting this about 10 o'clock in the morning and I can go about and work, 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 do all kinds of work. And, oh, let's put some more onion. Let's put more onion. Let's put lots and lots of onion. Don't put the paper in there, silly goose. No, Judah, stop. We're going to have a discipline moment in a minute. All right, so a bunch of onions on the bottom. Oh, you hit your head, didn't you, buddy? All right, and now we're going to fill the bottom up with cube steak. This is a great way to use, if you can tell that your cube steak looks tough or not the best, it's a great way to um, use that up because it tenderizes it as it cooks in the slow cooker. Okay, I'll have to wash the lid of my pepper now. And I'm going to pepper it really good. And I'll put just a little bit of salt. The Lipton Onion Soup Mix has plenty of salt, but... Um, I do like my meat season just a little bit, so I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. Now, we're going back in with more onion. So, we're just layering, basically. Just layering. Now, I am making tons because we've got company coming. Um, maybe. We may have. I'm not even sure if we're going to have company coming. Um, Isaac won't be here tonight, but he'll be here tomorrow. And he's already put his order in for tomorrow night's supper. And but he wants this too, so I'm gonna make enough so he can have leftovers that he can have them either for lunch or take back to school, whatever. Okay, so plenty of onions went in there. Okay, so now <laughs> Judah's not feeling good, he has moments of whining out and crying, and that's what's going on right now. So, all right, buddy, I'm coming, go sit in Bubbles' chair, and I'll be right there to hold you. Okay, <laughs> I will, baby, I'm coming. I coming. All right, let me rinse my hands. Okay, so again, I'm going to pepper it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pepper it really good because I like a lot of pepper. I'm coming, baby. Go get in Bubbles' chair. And a little bit of salt, not much. And now, we're going to pour that delicious gravy over the top. And it's going to work its way down in the bottom. Mm -hmm. I know, darling. He just feels so bad, y'all. 
and he's getting over stuff. <laughs> I just got him out of the bathtub, so he's no longer contagious, but I still don't feel great. He did not have COVID, thank the Lord. He just had a mild toddler RSV. And um, so, okay, I'm going to put the lid on, put it on low. We're going to cook it for about eight hours on low. And we'll be back when it's time to eat. Hey guys, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie. I'm the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I upload content on cooking, grocery hauls, farming, all kinds of things. And I would love for you to be a part of my family if you're not already. So please hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit that little bell and select all so you don't miss anything that I upload. Because sometimes there's some funny things in there. Um, today we're making a healthy meal. I know. Wow. What? I mean, my mantra or my my motto is if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything and we're going to be healthy today. Yes, we are. Okay, guys, here is the cube steak and gravy that just came out of the crock pot. I've made mashed potatoes with the gravy on top and green beans. So, Bryant's going to be our taste tester tonight. Hey, guys, back it up just a little bit. Back it up just a little bit. There's Judabug. Judabug is wanting to get in on that. Look Come at here, Judabug. Look at that. There's Judabug. Say hey, Judabug. Wait a minute. Say hey. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Now, all y'all's Alexas just went off, didn't it? Yeah. She's, uh, <laughs> time, she uses that timer biscuits and stuff. So, All right. She did a cube steaks a little different tonight. She did it in the, uh, in the crock pot. For those of you that need a crock pot recipe, um, it's really good. I've actually been in this all day. Um, every time I would come in from the from outside from working, I'd sneak a piece out of the crock pot. Very tender. How long did it cook, Mom? About eight hours. But remember, I doubled the recipe. So I down below, I'm going to put just the one recipe, but I doubled it. So that I added a little extra time. So they could probably get by six with, hours would six be hours great. Six hours on low. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really good. Really tender. How were the cube steak were thin thick? Yeah, and and the one pack was thick, and so I figured it would be kind of tough. And this is a great way to cook cube steak and keeping it um, to tenderize it. The the um, and it's not a negative, <clears throat> but the gravy is a little thin. Yeah. So what I should have done was just take the lid off and let it cook out some of the water, evaporate, let it evaporate. But it's really really good. So really tasty. Really really tasty. Really really tasty. So. All right, guys, there you have it. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. <laughs> Bye, y'all.